Let's turn our attention now to the land of Magufuli. The first cable stayed bridge in East Africa was unveiled today in Dar es Salaam, costing about $135 million. The bridge, which will connect Kigamboni with central Dar es Salaam, is expected to play a big part in reducing traffic as well as boosting regional connectivity. Well, I take a look at what can Kenya learn from Tanzania, even as the construction of the bridge linking south coast to north coast has continued to stall. Regional connectivity within East Africa has been an area that continues to stall faster integration of the six East Africa community member countries. Tanzania seems to be playing catch-up and to some extent trying to show Kenya the way forward. The country which is in final talks with Uganda to build an oil pipeline has also just completed the construction of one of the iconic bridges the region will ever have. <laughs> Kujipongeze sisi wa Tanzania Kwa juhudi kubwa ambazo tumefanyika ndani ya nchi yetu Kwa kufanikiwa kujenga madaraja makubwa makubwa kwa wakati mfu The new bridge is 680 meters long and 27.5 meters wide Will now be an alternative to the ferry Which used to connect residents of Kigamboni and central Dar es Salaam Through Kursani Creek the era of public-private partnerships is fast picking up, even as governments seek new business models to deliver on big-ticket projects. The bridge, which has been constructed by two companies from China, China Railway 15 Group and China Engineering Group, is a testament of the impact of such collaborations. Na hichi kitu kimeandaliwa kimewekwa hapa kwa ajili ya manufaa yetu sisi wenyewe. Kwa sababu pantoni zilikuwa kila mara mara mbovu mara moja inaharibika, moja inafanya kazi, mara mbili zinaharibika, zote mbili inakuwa tafrani, mara inakuwa mzozo mwingi nini, nafuo jingi lakini kwa leo kusema kweli kwanza tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutujalia. Infrastructure projects have been a major headache for the heads of state in the EAC member countries. The bridge in Tanzania will be the first of a kind in East Africa and third in Sub-Saharan Africa apart from South Africa. Construction of the bridge started in 2012, whereas Kenya is yet to finalize plans to build the Likoni Bridge, which has been in the works for some time now. Perhaps it is time for Kenya to borrow a leaf from its next-door neighbor. Abiyagina, KTN Business.